Namaste. Welcome to class. Please find your comfortable seated position, either in Sadasana, Half Lotus, Full Lotus or Dandasana with your legs in front of you. Bring your hands face up or face down on your knees or in a mudra if they're part of your practice. And let's just take a moment to arrive here on our mat today. So sitting up nice and tall, gently bring the eyes to a close and bring your focus just to your breath. Sending the breath down to the diaphragm. Inhaling deeply through the nose and exhaling long and steady. Clear all thoughts from your mind and focus fully on your breath. Setting your intention for class today and remembering to be mindful of how your body feels in each asana and taking care of yourself throughout practice. Begin to flutter the eyelashes and blink the eyes to open nice and gently. And we'll begin with some gentle joint movement to warm up, starting with the wrists. So bending the wrists down and just gently applying pressure with the opposite palm. And then taking it back the opposite way and applying gentle pressure to the fingers. Don't go beyond your limit here. Nice and gentle, we are going to use our wrists and arms quite a bit in today's class. So just giving them a chance to get some movement into them, sending the fluid to the joint and waking it up. And then the opposite palm, we're going to do three times again. So really just gentle pressure and taking it back. Last time. Okay, and giving the wrists a little bit of a shake. We'll just bring some movement into the shoulders now. So you can keep your hands on your knees here. You can just bring them up to your ears and then rolling them down the back, squeezing the scapula and rolling forward. Just three rotations back. And now forward. Really try and maximize the range of motion as much as you can. Bringing the legs out in front. We're going to bring a little bit of movement into the legs as well. So firstly, just take one leg and we're just going to move the ankle with our hand. So you're trying to get the maximum of range of motion into the ankle which might feel a little unusual due to the type of joint, but it has got a little bit more extension from side to side than we tend to use in our daily lives. So this is really good for the health of the joint. Okay, and then taking the opposite ankle and foot and repeating the same movement. So from side to side, and releasing it. Now just pulling the toes up towards you. You're just going to make some circles with the ankles. So again, just bringing that motion in. You can keep the feet joined together or you can separate them here, whatever feels good to you today. And now we're going to go in the opposite direction. And now bringing the legs a little apart, it doesn't need to be a massive V, just a gentle V. We're going to do some gentle motion in the hips, so not full rotations here, just rotating in and out. So perhaps your toes will touch the center on one side, but then they're not going to reach on the other. 
So just waking them up a little bit. Okay, and then coming to your cross-legged position and coming round to your tabletop. So placing the hands down, fingertips nice and wide, fingers spread, getting ready for your spine grip, pushing up onto the knees, bringing the knees hips width, feet flat or toes tucked, shoulders over wrists and rotating the arms so the elbow crease is hidden in your tabletop. We're going to take a cat and a cow here. So as you inhale, dropping the belly button down, chest comes forward, chin away from chest and head up. Really feel into this movement. And then exhale, rounding, taking the chin to the chest. Really driving yourself away from the mat. Inhale, coming forward, belly button down, chest forward, chin away from chest, gaze up. And exhale, rounding. Inhale, coming forward again. And exhale, rounding. Coming back to your tabletop now. Reach the left leg back. Square off the hip, don't come above. And now you're going to just take the leg out to the side. Keeping the gaze straight ahead, feeling the core nice and strong and engaged, and then bringing it back, squaring off the hip, flattening the foot down. We're going to bend into the knee and bring the knee to the left tricep. Again, keep the gaze ahead, keep the right arm strong, don't bend it. Taking it back. Bend the knee, bring it across to the right tricep. Taking it back again, left tricep. Taking it back, and to the right tricep. And then gently bringing it back down. Now the same with the right leg, so taking it back, squaring off the hip, flattening the foot, the gaze is ahead, not down. Now bring it out to the side. Try and keep it nice and high, keep the core engaged. Keep breathing. Sweeping it back. Now bring the bend into the knee and bring the knee to the right tricep. Try and bring it as high as you can, keep the left arm straight. Taking it back, squaring the hip to the left tricep. Taking it back, square the hip, to the right. Taking it back, square the hip, and to the left. And taking it back, and placing it back down. Now just shift your weight forward, so your shoulders are coming over your wrists. You will feel this stretch in your wrists and hands. Again, we're warming them up a little further. If you feel discomfort, just come back slightly. And we'll go in again, coming forward. And taking it back. Forward once more. And taking it back. Now waking up the core more, we're going to hover our knees here. So make sure that your shoulders are over your wrists, not behind. Keep the feet flat, keep the gaze ahead and up, don't look down. Engage your core, engage your spider grip, your fingers, and lifting your knees. If your weight is too far back, you will find your knees will come up a long way and your abs will not shake, you want them to shake, you want them to work. And gently releasing down, bringing the toes together, bringing the booty down to the heels, widening the knees, walking the hands forward, coming down to your balasana on child's pose and taking a couple of breaths here.
Inhale, bring your gaze up. Engaging your hands, pushing back up onto your knees, tucking your toes, and getting ready to come into your first downward facing dog. You can paddle your feet up and down here, warming the legs further into this first down dog of the day. You can bend your knees. You can move from side to side. Think about the hips being nice and high here and the head being nice and low. Bring the gaze between your palms and we're going to walk to the top of the mat. Challenge yourself to keep the hands planted and not to bend the knees. When you come to feet between your palms, fingertips and toes in one line, release the hands from the mat, take the opposite elbow, come into your rag doll, hanging here, bouncing up and down, side to side, relaxing the neck, relaxing the head, relaxing through the shoulders, through the spine, the legs are strong, you can have a bend in the knee here if you wish to. Then releasing the hands, inhaling, rounding up, vertebrae by vertebrae, until you come to your standing position at the top of your mat, legs together, feet together, gaze ahead, fingertips wide and engaged, all muscles working hard, even in this simple standing position. So standing at the top of your mat, we're going to take a side stretch here. So, picking up the left leg, cross it over the right, feet together, legs together, squeezing really tight through the legs here. Inhale, reach both hands up, interlock the fingers, and leave the index fingers pointing, thumbs are also crossed. Reaching up nice and tall, really extending through the torso. And just move from side to side, warming the body a little further here. Okay, now taking the hips over to the left, the upper body is going to come down to the right. Try and keep yourself in a straight line. You don't need to go too far. Keep the left shoulder open out. Don't allow it to creep forward. You can keep the gaze ahead here. It's nice and comfortable. Really think about creating more length between the hip and the shoulder. And coming back to centre, releasing the hands, releasing the legs. We're now going to take the right leg over the left. Feet together, legs wrap nice and tight. Really squeezing through the legs. Inhale, sweeping the hands up. We're going to interlock the fingers and release the index finger again. Try and interlock the opposite way to last time. Again, just moving from side to side. And then taking the hips over to the right and the upper body to the left. Don't allow the, your arms to bend. Remember to smile. And inhale, coming back up to centre, releasing the hands, releasing the legs and giving them a little shake. Okay, into our first salutation. We are going to use some back bends today. For the first one, we'll do a supported back bend, so we're going to take our hands to the lower back. So making sure the pelvis is tucked nice and tight, making sure the core is strong. Bring the hands to the lower back, thumbs touching, fingertips pointing upwards. Inhale, lifting the stern and lifting the gaze, and just taking a gentle back bend first of all. And exhale, coming back to centre, release the hands, coming down towards your Uttanasana, your full forward fold. Remember, you can bend your knees here. 
Boys, hips high, head low. Inhale, fingertips flat back position. Chin away from chest. Exhale, plant the palms down. Stepping your left leg back. Coming to your 90-90, to your low lunge. Bring the gaze ahead. Back toes can be engaged or the foot can be flat. The choice is yours. Bring the arms to the side, palms facing up. Inhale, sweeping the hands up. Finding your control, your balance here. Make sure the front knee is not over the front toes. And when you're ready, engage the back leg, lifting the back knee. Back leg nice and strong. Breathing. Bringing your left elbow across to the right knee. Twisting from the lower spine, opening out, looking up to the top thumb. You can have this hand just on your hip with the elbow pointing up, or you can reach it up to the sky. Bring your palms to the heart, thumb on the sternum, looking over your right shoulder, bringing the gaze to the front, back to centre with the torso, releasing the hands down either side of the front foot, and sweeping the right foot back, coming to your high plank position, rounding through the shoulders, lifting nice and high. Holding here. Now coming down, Chaturanga Dandasana, sweeping through to your upward facing dog, coming back to your downward facing dog. Hips high, head low. Bring your gaze between your palms and now gently with control, you can do this one arm at a time, lower your forearms, keeping your gaze ahead. You can come up onto the toes and just shift your weight forward, working on the shoulders and the arms. Keep the hips, the core high. Pushing back, trying to get your heels down, keeping the gaze forward. Now coming back to your downward facing dog, lifting the forearms, dropping the head. Inhale, gaze between the palms. You're going to lift your left leg up. Bend the knee, bring it to the chest, coming onto the right toes. Sweep the left foot forward, placing it between the palms, gaze ahead, dropping the back knee. Chin away from chest, gaze forward. Arms to the side, palms facing up. Find your balance. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And then inhale, raising the back knee off the mat. Really strong, keep the hips low here. Don't allow them to sneak up. Now bring in the right elbow to the left knee. You can take the left hand to the hip, twisting from the lower spine, bringing the gaze up over your left shoulder. You can release the right fingers down towards the mat and the left arm up to the sky. Bring your palms to prayer position. Try and twist further, bringing your thumb to the sternum. Bring the gaze back to the front, bringing the torso to the front, sweeping the hands down either side of the front foot and stepping the right foot to meet the left. Ardha Uttanasana, chin away from chest, flat back position, exhale from forward fold. And inhale, rolling yourself all the way up and we'll take our supported back bend again this time. Back centre and release. On your next round, you can take a supported back bend or you can sweep the hands up. Inhale, taking your back bend. Exhale, coming forward, 
Step in from the hip, reaching forward, stop halfway. Shift your weight forward to your big toe, really reaching. Feel the core engage. If it's not engaged, you need to shift the weight further forward. And releasing down, coming to your full forward fold. Inhale, fingertips, flat back position. Exhale, palms down. Stepping the right leg back, coming to your high lunge position. Hat palms to the sky, and then up. Holding here. Now dropping the back foot down to 90, bending into the front knee a little more. Coming to your warrior two, take the gaze to the left middle finger. Keep the pelvis tucked here. Check your arms are in one line and that they are active. Reverse warrior, left hand coming overhead. Keep the hips low. Inhale back to center. Slipping the left palm up. Sweep the right palm over. Both hands forward. Hips low, reaching forward. Don't allow your body to come down onto the leg. Back to centre, back to your warrior. Turning the back foot, sweeping the hands down and stepping back to your plank position. From here, keeping the left palm ground, we're going to come to our side plank. Reaching the right hand up, reaching the hips up. You can have the bottom knee down, you can have the feet next to each other. If you're ready, you can raise the right leg. And coming back to centre, coming to your plank. And taking the opposite side. So coming onto the right arm, left arm comes up, reaching the hips high, raising the leg if you're ready. Gaze down, coming back to your plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Adi Makasvanasana. Adi Makasvanasana. Take the gaze between your palms again. Lower the forearms. This time bring the hands to meet in the middle. Interlock the fingers, leave your pinky finger sticking out. We're going to go forwards and back. See if you can kiss your pinky. So gaze ahead. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring the hands back. Come back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze between your palms. And you're going to sweep your right leg forward. Coming to your high lunge position. Holding here. And then turning your back foot to 90. And coming in to your warrior two. Keep the pelvis tucked. Arms really straight and strong. Bringing the left hand down onto the back leg, no pressure. Right hand over the top. Fingers reaching, reverse warrior.
Inhale, coming back to your warrior. Flipping the right palm up. Bringing the left arm over. Both arms reaching, hips low. Inhale, back to your warrior. Turning the back foot and sweeping your hands down either side of the front foot and stepping forward. Fingertips flat back position. Exhale, full forward fold. Inhale, coming up to standing, tuck the pelvis, engage the core, back bend and back to centre. And release. Okay, next round. Standing nice and strong, pelvis tucked. We're going to start with our back bend again. So inhale, sweeping the arms up overhead or taking your supported back bend. And then exhale, coming forward, dropping all the way down to your full Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, chin away from the chest. Exhale, placing the palms down. Step your left leg back, and we want to come beyond our 90-90 here. Inhale, fingertips, flatten the back foot, and then reaching the hands up, keeping the gaze ahead. You should be feeling this in your left thigh. Now sweeping the hands down, Place your left hand so the fingertips are in line with the right toes. Lift your left foot up. Reach with your right hand to take your left foot. Turn to look over your right shoulder. You can bring the right foot onto its side and allow the hip to open and the knee to fall apart and allow your left foot to push your right arm away, opening out the chest and the shoulder further. Inhale, come back to centre, release the hand down, tucking the back toes, sweeping back, coming to a three-legged plank. Shift the weight forward a little, come down, Chaturanga Dandasana, sweeping up, Udhamukhasanasana, and coming back to your three-legged dog. Bringing your right leg down now. Sweeping your left leg up. And taking a three-legged vinyasa here. High plank, low plank, upward facing dog. And back to your downward facing dog. As I said, our arms were gonna to work today as well as our core. So bring the gaze between the palms, sweep your left leg through, lowering the back knee, flattening the back foot. We should be beyond 90-90 here in our horse rain pose, so come onto the fingertips. Make sure the front knee is straight. And inhale, sweep the hands up, sinking the hips low. Feeling the stretch in the right thigh. Bring the right hand down, fingertips in line with your toes. Keep the gaze forward, kick the right foot up, reach round with the left hand to grab the right foot. Allow the left foot to go onto the side, the hip to fall away, taking the gaze over the left shoulder. Allow the right foot to pull the left arm, opening the chest further. Inhale, coming back to centre, placing the hands down, tucking the back toes, engaging the back leg, stepping forward, Ardha Uttanasana, chin away from the chest, exhale, full Uttanasana, fingertips and toes in one line, Inhale, coming up to standing, taking your back bend, and coming back to centre, releasing the palms to the side. 
Inhale, bend the knees, take the fingertips down to the mat. Keeping the hips and knees where they are, inhale, sweep the arms up, come into your chair pose. The weight should be towards the back, you should be able to lift your toes, don't worry if you can't today. Holding here. Exhale, releasing, full forward fold. Inhale, Adho Uttanasana. Flattening the palms. Take both feet to the back of the mat, step, walk, or jump to a high plank. Shift the weight forward, Chaturanga Dandasana. Urdhva Mukhasvanasana. And Adho Mukhasvanasana. We're going to work the core and the arms further here. So, sweeping your right leg up, bring it forward, bent knee, between the arms, gaze straight ahead, chin away from chest. Exhale, sweeping it back. Now take it to the right tricep. Sweep it back. Left. Back. Center. Back. Right and back, left and back. Option to take a vinyasa, three legged or normal, or stay in downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths. We're going to do the same on the opposite side. So inhaling, sweeping the left leg up, gaze ahead, knee between the arms, sweep it back, left tricep and back, right and back, center and back, left and back, right and back, option to take a vinyasa or stay in downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths here. Gaze ahead, walk, step or jump to the top of the mat. Fingertips flat back, full forward fold. Fingertips either side of the feet, bend the knees, lower the hips. Gaze ahead, sweep the arms and the torso up, keeping the hips and the knees low. And inhale back to standing, palms at the heart, and release. Standing at the top of the mat. Bring the palms to prayer position at the heart. Keeping the gaze forward. Shifting the weight to the right leg, lift the left foot, bend in the left knee. Focus on the right leg, make it nice and strong. Thigh pulling the knee up. And sweeping the left leg back. Bringing the body to parallel with the floor, right leg nice and strong. Bring the right hand to the right hip. Take the left hand out to the side. And then bring it down. Fingertips in line with the right toes. Extend the upper body forward and twist, bringing the right elbow up, taking the gaze to the right, and then extending the right arm, opening out the shoulder. Try and lift the back leg a little higher, extend the torso forward. Gaze back to the mat. Right hand to the hip, bringing the left hand up, bringing yourself back to centre and releasing the left leg down, coming to standing. Take a breath here, bringing the palms to the heart again, focus on the left leg, bring the right leg up, bent knee. Standing really straight and strong through the left leg. And when you're ready, sweeping the right leg back. 
Extending, coming to 90. Gaze ahead. Then bringing the right hand down to the mat, fingertips in line with the left toes, left hand on the left hip. Start to twist from the lower back, bringing the left elbow up, extending the left arm, reaching the right leg back. Gaze back to the floor, bringing the right arm up, coming up to standing, releasing the leg down, releasing the arms, taking a breath. Okay, we're going to take our chair, our twisted chair, and if you've been working on your side prone, now's an option to bring that in because we've done lots of work on our core and our arms so far today. So keeping the gaze ahead, bend the knees, bringing the fingertips down either side of the feet, keeping the hips and knees where they are, sweep the arms up. Gaze ahead, spine straight. Palms to the heart, thumb on the sternum. Taking the left elbow outside of the right knee and pushing yourself around, keeping that thumb on the sternum, take your gaze over the right shoulder. If you would like to, you can come to your side pro now or you can stay in your twisted chair. If you're coming to your side pro, prepare. Coming back to your chair pose and back to standing. And now to the opposite side, fingertips to the mat, gaze ahead, hips down, knees bent, sweeping the arms up, gaze up, palms to the heart, thumb on the sternum, right elbow outside the left knee, twisting, looking over the left shoulder. If you want to come to your side pro again, prepping, or stay in your twisted chair. And everybody coming back to their chair pose and back to standing. Release, give everything a shake. Stepping the feet out, five to six feet wide, hands on the hips. Inhale, arms to the side, exhale back to the hips, standing down halfway. Shifting your weight forward, making sure the outer edge of your feet are pressed down. Releasing the hands to the centre of the mat, releasing the head down, elbows bent. Relax the head, relax the neck. Inhale, coming up halfway, turning the feet so that your toes are pointing to the outer edge of your mat. Bring the gaze ahead and bring your palms either to your heart or onto your thighs. And then bringing yourself upright and bounce here five times. And then sitting low, try and shift the pelvis under and forward so that your bum isn't sticking out. You can keep the hands here or here or raise them up. Now bring the palms to the heart and then down to the mat, walking your feet in to roughly hips distance with the toes pointing out to the corners of the mat. Pass the heart, elbows pushing into the legs, coming to your malasana, your gar garland pose, and lifting the spine up, trying to make sure there's no curve. And then releasing yourself down to the mat and coming to sit in dandasana. Okay, so sitting in your dandasana, we're gonna do some bow pulling here because we're gonna bring in another arm balance as our arms and our core are so strong um, after the beginning of class today. 
So reach forward with your peace fingers, grab your big toes. And you're going to pick up your left leg, bending the knee, bringing it back, opening out the shoulder, opening out the hip. And then you're going to swap for the opposite side. And again. And again. Really opening it out. Last time. Okay. So coming for just one more arm balance. So I'm going to bend my left leg and I'm going to bring my left arm under. So just bringing it behind and over. If you aren't here, um, you can just bring it wherever it can reach to, but so you can still put your hand down on the mat. You can also use blocks, this will make this arm balance a little easier. So, bringing the hands down onto the mat, pointing both toes, looking ahead, exhale, forward, inhale, lift. And releasing down, give the leg a bit of a hug. And we're going to take the opposite side. So bringing the leg as high as you can, placing the hands down on the mat. Exhale, point the toes, leaning forward. Inhale, lifting. And gently release down. Give the leg a hug. And release it. We're going to take a nice gentle forward fold now. So looking ahead, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold. You can take the tops of the feet. You can interlock the fingers. Or you can take the big toes. Entirely your choice. Inhale, look forward again, lift the chest. Exhale, gaze to the big toes. Lengthening through the spine, elbows out to the side. Lift the gaze, lift the body back up to center. And we'll take a nice gentle twist. So just come to a gentle cross-legged position. Sitting up nice and straight and tall. Inhale, left hand taking it to the right knee. Right hand goes up and then behind you. Lift through the chest and the spine. Exhale and twist. Inhale, coming back to center, releasing the hands up. Take the right hand to the left knee and the left hand sweeping round behind you, behind the center. Lifting through the chest, the spine, and twisting, looking over the left shoulder. Inhale, coming back to center, releasing the hands up, then releasing them down, and just walk them forward where you are in your cross-legged position. Keep your seat bones down. Have your knees and hips as low as possible. Release your chest and head down as far as they will go. But make sure the seat bones are down the entire time. Don't allow them to come up. Try not to round the spine. Keep it nice and long. Inhale, bring your gaze up, walk your hands back to you, and come to lying on your stomach. Have your fingertips under your shoulders. The ends of your fingertips should be in line with the top of your shoulders. Bring your legs together, your feet together. Squeeze in your glutes, your legs. Core engaged. 
Lift your palms off the mat so your fingers tap your shoulders. Keep them hovering. Inhale, lift your gaze. Squeeze more with your legs, your glutes, your core. And lift your upper body higher, keeping the hands hovering. Don't use your hands to bring yourself up. Just your core, just your muscles. And release down. Keeping the hands planted. Elbows to the side of the rib cage. Legs strong, core engaged. Keep the pelvis, the legs down, pushing into the mat. Inhale, lift yourself up to your cobra. Relax the shoulders down. Gaze straight ahead. Don't tip the neck back. If you're feeling a pinch in your lower back, take a bend in the elbow and come down slightly. And releasing down. Take a breath. And then rolling onto your back. Lying on your back. Keep your palms gently at your side, face down. Bend your knees, bringing the feet to the mat. Bring your legs up just to 90. Holding them here. You can use a strap, loosely wrap around them to support you. Okay, now raising up to your shoulder stand, you can bring your hands to your lower back. We're not staying in shoulder stand, we're going beyond. So coming up to your shoulder stand, hands at your lower back. Your chest comes towards your chin, reaching up through the legs, and then bringing the feet overhead, coming to your plow pose. And if you can, bring your knees to your forehead, or even to the side next to your ears. Back to your plow. Back to shoulder stand. Back to 90. Bend the knees, hug them to your chest. Bring your forehead to the knees. You can take a couple of rocks here. Or you can just hold yourself here in this little bit. Releasing the legs down. Okay, we're going to take a gentle spinal twist before we get to our Shavasana. We're going to use our eagle legs. So bringing the left foot onto the mat, wrapping the right leg around once or twice, if it feels good to you today. Bringing the arms to a T or scarecrow position. Inhale, lifting the feet, the legs off the mat. And taking them over towards the left tricep and taking your gaze over your right shoulder. Keeping the right shoulder grounded on the mat, be very mindful of this. If it's not grounded, just bring the legs back towards centre. Relax the neck. And coming back to centre with the head and the legs, unwrapping, placing the right foot down, unwrapping the left leg over once or twice, whichever feels good to you today. Inhaling, lifting the feet, the legs off the mat, and taking the legs, the knee over towards the right tricep, and the gaze over the left shoulder. Again, be mindful of the left shoulder remaining grounded. Relax the neck, relax the gaze. Breathe into the twist.
Inhale, coming back to center, unwinding the legs and releasing them down, bringing the arms to the side, palms up and coming to your Shavasana. Gently tucking the chin, closing the eyes, allowing the feet just to fall outwards. And relax the fingers, allow them just to curl. So there's no tension in them whatsoever. Bring your focus to your breath. Allow yourself to sink down onto the mat. Relax every muscle. Allowing yourself and your body this time just to really reap the benefits of your practice today. Slowly and gently, begin just to bring some awareness, some movement back to your fingers and your toes. Move them gently, take your time. Begin to flex the feet, move the ankles and the wrists. Tense the muscles in the legs and release. Tensing the arms, the shoulders and releasing. Gently just bring the side to side movement into your neck. Very gentle, small movement. Bending the knees, bringing the feet onto the mat. Bending your lower arm to use as a pillow, keeping the eyes closed, roll to the side, coming to your easy fetus pose. Taking a few breaths here, maintaining this lovely state of relaxation. When you're ready, bring yourself back to your easy seated position, keeping the eyes closed and bringing the palms to the heart in prayer position. Take a deep inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Gently touching your forehead to your fingertips. Namaste. Thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you next time on the mat.